Introducing 100 Days of Code with Treehouse. What is 100 Days of Code? It's a long-standing coding challenge created by Alex Calloway, and it's simple. Commit to learning every day for 100 days. The amount that you learn in that short time frame will change your life. Whether you want to level up your skills or jumpstart a new career, commit to the challenge. You'll be shocked by how much you learn and accomplish. You'll have the full support of the Treehouse community of students working with you. We'll be sending you motivational emails, clips from our 100 Days of Code podcast, featuring advice, tips and tricks from developers, and so much more. There's never been a better time to commit to your learning. Join us. Hello, welcome everybody to HTML CSS for Kids. My name is Anwar, I'm a designer, developer, and a teacher at Treehouse. And our star is... Me, Amina. I am a student and playgrounder at Creston Elementary, and I am going into fifth grade in August. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, or a couple of reminders. There's lots more lessons on web design and development at teamtreehouse.com. Question? Uh, um, yes. What are the cookies? Do you have to give them cookies to use this website? Oh, uh, cookies. That is a really good question, but that is uh, a little more advanced than what we're going to be covering today. And I'm also setting up, there we go. Uh, we have our chat moderated by Karen. Um, so if you have any questions, I comments, Karen. Uh, feel free to drop them in the uh, chat. Thank you again for joining us. And yeah, we'll get to the cookies question in a future lesson, but uh, that's pretty advanced compared to what we're doing today. I just, like, I just, I just want to know like the short story. Just like, um, I'm just wondering why is it called cookies? Like, why would if they're gonna call it cookies, why don't they call it something like elephants? Uh, I don't know why they're called cookies. They're uh, brow the browser wants to remember a little bit about you, like what kind of clicks did you do on the previous page and things like that. Um, so why aren't they called elephants or books or something? I don't know the history of how they got to be named cookies. Well, that's something to look at. Something to look up, exactly. Um, oh, and you did a little bit of homework this week, which we'll be getting to in a minute. Uh, first of all, if this is your first time joining us, you're going to need a code editor. I have uh, code.visualstudio.com uh, up in the window. Karen can drop that in as well. Uh, you'll want to download this for writing your HTML and CSS. Download! Um, if you've been with us before, usually I have some slides, I have a GitHub link, and in our next live stream we'll be returning to that link, we'll be uploading uh, the work Amina does, but today we're starting something new. You wanted to... Uh, who's our topic for our website that we're going to build? Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette. How did you pick her? Because she's the most, she's like so cool and so powerful. And there's so many lies and so many myths about her. Like she never said, let's eat cake. That's true. We, we, uh, we learned that. that she, she was actually very smart, not so dumb. Yep, yep. She did not say let them eat cake. So, and you've been to Versailles, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it was Close. That's true. We couldn't go inside. We toured the garden. So, Marie Antoinette was your topic. Uh, what was your homework yesterday? Do you remember? Well, I wouldn't call it homework. I'd call it like five minute homework, but still. Well, it's something designers do, though, and web developers. What was it called? Do you remember? Amina's site map. Amina's site map. So, Amina drew out a drawing yesterday, a diagram of the navigation that we would like to just build. Just by the way, I wasn't using a gold marker. My dad just made it darker so people could see. True. Fanciness. Uh, so this is a diagram of how we're going to organize our content. Every website begins with a home page. you got to start somewhere. You and have to start with a home. You have to start with a cow. A cow. Okay. 
Uh, what's going to be on the home page? That's going to be information about Marie Antoinette? It's kind of like, you know, how, like, if it was, like, if it was, like, um, that frog who goes, Hello, my lady. Hello, my dude. He'd have his bio on the home page. Ha! He. Um. Can, I, wait, we have a question. He, can we use C language to make websites? Uh, I actually don't know how to write in, uh, what is there? Objective C, C++. There's, uh, a few different languages out there. Um, I don't know how to write any of them, so it's a, it's a good question, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so we're going to have some information about her on our homepage. If ye like, what did we decide to change that to? Learn more. Learn more? Yeah. Learning more is these. Uh, so we're going to have some, some more resources, right, where people can learn more. Mm -hmm. uh, um, gallery. Just wondering, if, if you're going to use C language, why don't you just use Pig Latin or French or mm. something? Uh, all good questions. Gallery makes perfect sense. And then what, what's going to be on the, the lies page? We decided, what, facts and fiction? I don't get, I still don't get why I can't be like... Fic, and fiction and facts? What? Fiction and facts. You said that there's a lot of myths about her, right? And you want to share oh, the truth? I thought you said fiction and facts, but I'm like, well... Facts and fiction, oh yeah. Yep. Facts and fiction. Cool. So let's get started. So today our goal is to make a new page, get our HTML and CSS started, and we won't really be writing any CSS today. We'll just have a blank sheet, and we're going to build this navigation. So we're going to say, bye-bye, CSS. Uh, can you open your HTML, CSS for kids folder that is on oh, the desktop? Oh, where's the mouse? Where are you, mouse? Uh, it is on the other screen. What? Okay. There. Okay, double click on it. Okay, oops, and let's... What? Here. No, that was... Oh, oh, no. Uh, boy, I don't know how to get that back. Okay, uh, well, we'll worry about that in a minute. All right, so um, <laughs> let's see. We need to make a new folder to work with. So here's the basics we were learning before. We're in a folder called Quackamole. That website is awesome. Are let's, you allowed to use just, can't you just do com command Z? Uh, I tried, it didn't work. But I mean, computer issues, I'll deal with them after the live stream. Let's make a new folder. And well, this is about Marie I'm Antoinette, titled. right? Well, give it a title. Do you want to call it Marie or Marie Antoinette or? Hmm. Hey, don't look at me like that. That's really hard to think. What are you doing? Well, I think either Marie or Marie Antoinette seems pretty logical. M dot F. Let's not put dots in the folder name because uh, dots have meaning on the web, like dot .html for a file name. Marie and Oops. Marie Snail. I want to write Marie Snail Toinette. Okay. Yay, Marie Snail Toinette! Snail Toinette, all right. That's there, there you go. Name. There's something you didn't know about her already. Is that her she last was a... name is a, her, she was a snail. Okay. They just in all the pictures they just made her look like a human. And we are dragging that into Visual Studio Code, and you can see we have no files. Uh, we we want to make two to get started with. Okay. Uh, can you hover your mouse right underneath where it says Marie Snail Twinette? And there's a plus button to make a new file. Yes, and we remember. Okay. Now, the first one, because it's the home page, you have to give it a special name. Jerry. Jerry. That, I mean, few names are as special as Jerry. Uh, but for the browser, oh, I mean it. For the browser to know this is our home page, 
we have to call this index.html. I know it's not the most exciting name, but this is the browser will see that but and you go. You said I was allowed to, ch you were saying for me to choose it. So I chose Jerry. Totally logical, but let's go ahead and call this one index.html. Nope, .html, otherwise the browser won't know what it is. Unless the browser's name is Jerry, then the browser will recognize it, it right should, away. Instead of, it should, when I'm older, I'm going to be president, and I'm going to say, you can no longer call it HTML. It has to be index. It, you can only say index.jerry. Okay. HTML, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but you got to be at least 35 to be president. So for a little while, we're going to have to stick but with... that'll be nearly dead. <laughs> stick I'm... with the rules the way they are. <laughs> can you make one more new file? And this is going to be your CSS file. But I'd be nearly dead, Dad. Yep, that is, how, so that is how it works. Um, okay, so Marie.css, is this Jerry.css? Jerry. Yes. Okay. Jerry.css. Okay. All right, so that's fine. Our CSS file can be named Jerry. But why is, why, wait, I have a question. What is your question? Why is it if I go into my other, see, my other Visual Studio thing, it doesn't have to be named Boring Index. Uh, that's just the name for the home page. The browser, when it gets to a new website, just like Visual Studio Code, how does it know which page to load up first? You have to call that index. Um, all the other pages, you can call them you whatever call you want. You can call them Jerry and Jerry and Jerry you and can, Jerry. Well, you can't call them all Jerry, but you can call at least one of them Jerry. You can call them Jerry, Jerry the first, Jerry you see, the second, now Jerry the you're third, thinking. Jerry the fourth, okay. Jerry Jr. Jerry Jr. Uh, it's a beautiful name. Ken. Uh, hello, if anyone watching is named Jerry, by the way, you're in luck because today is, is uh, Jerry Day. So, um, can you type... We're going to do a shortcut that gives, gets our new page going. Can you type in X... Mac slash OSC version are you currently using? Um, well, I am on a Mac. Uh, I don't remember what OS I'm on right now. It looks like Mojave. Mo no, Daddy, that's Mojob. You're a Mojob. All right, can you... Oh, no, it's only at okay. 18. Wait, Dad, what do okay, you do? Okay, I will do with that, but can you type an exclamation mark, please, because we're going to do our shortcut that gets our first page started. Hey, that was mean, computer. Okay, and then press tab. tap. Tap or tab? Tab, the tab key. Daddy? Yes. I have a question. Okay. Why is that then when you press caps lock, the letters go in shift mode? But when you type one, it just comes out as one, not an exclamation point. Uh, caps lock, it's just to make your letters capital. Um, that does not make sense, it's Google. So, uh, once you've saved your page with a .html file name, which you did already, we were able to type an exclamation mark one. and hit tab and it gave us a whole bunch of HTML tags already. Okay, we have the doc type, so our browser knows this is an HTML it's, document. It's a doctor who loves to type it, documents. It, absolutely, there's a lot of those. Uh, we have our HTML tag, which is where our HTML document begins and ends. We have the language which, of our document, which we're gonna write in English. Uh, if we add a French, if if we were going to do this in French, we would type FR for French. Um, do you remember the difference? Well, if you write PL for Pig Latin, what happens? Then I guess it would mean our body copy would be I in Pig say Latin. what happens if you write PL. Well, no, nothing will actually happen. It's saying we're just telling the browser that our information would be in English. Do you remember the difference between the head and the body? The head's the boring part, the body's the interesting part. Yeah, and how come? Because the head is just like yada, yada, yada. <laughs> well, that's not very, that's not really helping our audience. But the body's like, hey, I'm in 
interesting. You should be friends with me, not the yada yada stuff. Okay. Uh, the body is the actual content that shows up on our page. <laughs> My pillows! Yeah, guys, I'm not this tall. All right. Technical difficulties here. Uh, the head... Pillow difficulties. Um, the head is information for the browser. The body is what shows up on your actual page. Are you okay there? Cow! No, father! We'll, we'll let your squishy take over for a little. Okay. Um, okay. So your head has a couple of bits of information that Visual Studio Code gave for, uh, for us. Uh, meta character set, this is for special characters if we need to type like a copyright symbol or... Ooh, how do you type a copyright symbol? Uh, well, that is on a PC. I have no idea how to do it, but on a Mac, it's pretty simple. Hold down Option. Wait, what? Hold down the Option key and press G. What? Okay, there you go. That's a copyright what? symbol. Wait, shouldn't it? if you do option C then? Uh, it what? gives you that C that, I don't know what that is called. Z! Okay. Option Z? What does that do? Um, I don't know, but the idea here is if we use special characters like these, uh, the browser is going to be able to recognize oh, them it. thanks to line four. Line? Uh, line five, this makes sure that our mobile devices understand how to view our page. Like if you look at our page on a phone. Also, okay. how many, what's the limit of lines you can use on this? Uh, unlimited. If you have a web page that's, you know, 2,000 lines, mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot to keep track of, but you totally could. Okay. Uh, do you remember what the title does? Where it shows up? One, two, three. On the top of the page, obviously. <laughs> True. Use your Use your coconut. Okay, I will use my coconut. Well, document is not a very good page title. Who who is our What's page the about? Worst page title I can think of. Here, this is the best one. Waka. Waka. Now that's an excellent title, Waka -waka. but we want to tell people who this page is about, and her name is not Waka Waka. What is her name? Well, okay, emotionless person, but fine. What? I did not write that. What? Um, oopsie, I forgot to write. Ah! In. In. Trod. How do you spell introducing? Uh, O D. Odd. D. U C. I-N-G. Oops, got an extra B in there. <laughs> Oops, that was... Don't want. What? Hey, that was me. That was mean also. You need help or you got it? Can you type it in some... Okay, what, what's the rest of what we're typing? Well, I think that's an excellent title. What are you looking for? Okay. The one. All right. Introduce it. I forgot one more. So that's a really good page title, and when we save our page, we will notice that that title appears up in the uh, tab at the top of our browser. Okay, can okay. we change what color it is? Nope, we're not working with CSS today. Oh, but we do need to link our CSS document to our HTML page, so that's a good reminder. Jerry C. Let's, let's make a new HTML tag. So can you type a square banana? Oh, uh, somehow the cursor moved. Square okay. banana! 
Square banana time. Can you go ahead and pr press banana. shift on the comma? We got a square banana. Great. The tag we're going to type is link. Type the word link because we're going to, oops, uh, we need caps lock off. How does, how, what okay. happens if you do it caps lock? Mm, the browser might have some trouble understanding that. Mm. Okay. Type a space. Because it's like, wait, are you saying link or are you saying link? Exactly. Type a space. We're going to give this tag some attributes. Attribute. Oops. Uh, again, we ended up down at the bottom. I um, exactly what you told me to do. href. Oops, uh, we need to be... Oh. Wait, what's going on? Okay. Uh, href. Wait, why does it... Why is it in the Because right now we have an error because we're not finished typing this one. So href is short for hypertext reference, although I think you came up with something else for it. It was like... I can't remember. Hamburger reference? No, Dad! What was it? I can't it's a reference! Oh, it's a referee named Hickory. All right, so type href, H-R-E-F. I know, Daddy. I equals know how to spell. Hickory or referee. Well, you have a better memory than I do. I'm I'm over 35, so I'm I'm almost dead. Can you type an equal sign? Yes, I'm, you're a ghost. Yes, exactly. Yes, because you are 14. You are 4,000. That's our, okay, 40, 4,000. That's you're how 40, old I am. Can you type an equal sign? Bunch and people. some quotes. Okay. And we want to attach jerry.css. What happens if you do that? Well, you'd be attaching index.html to itself, which would be very, very confusing. That'd be okay. fun, though. Oops. Uh, we need one more attribute, and that's going to be rel. We need to let the browser know this is a style sheet. Oops. We need to know that it's relish. Yeah, so type rel for relish. Can you type Ariel? Equals. Okay, and then in, and then in the quotes we need to type style sheet. We need to write relish. Well, you have that. Now you need to type style sheet. You can type it. Okay, but you're not gonna let me type. All right, can you type your other square banana? Square banana. Perfect. Now jerry.css is linked to our document. Yay! Okay. Wait, Finally, so what happens if I click that? Um, well, it just means that once we start changing our CSS, uh, wow. we can change our colors and fonts and things like that. All right. I mean, so. All right. Uh, next, we are going to build a navigation, and... Wait, is that like Google Maps? Can't we just link it to Google Maps then? Well, I don't mean... That's a good question. I don't mean navigation like finding your way around in the real world. I mean finding navigation... Finding your way around with e. Finding your way around this website. Ooh. So, we talked about before our lesson started, remember, Visual Studio Code has a navigation. Docs updates, blog, and... We'll call who else is here. Okay, that's not, that's not for us. Um, and most websites you visit have a navigation like this with pages you can visit, okay? And we are going to make a navigation just like you drew out on your site now. Can you make a new, a new tag using square bananas? I'm gonna take a quick one second nap. Do you feel rested? Man, that was awesome. Nav, you can tell you live with cats. That was very a very inspired nap. And your closed square banana? I think about like probably like how many times does a human blink in a day? Uh, twelve. So. Well, well I blink. Uh, <laughs> but not actually, how many? Twelve. No, daddy. Okay. So, because I every time I blink, I take a nap. See, I'm going to take a nap real quick. That's very efficient. All right, so this tells our browser, here's our navigation. Now, normally developers, when we make navigations, we use a bulleted list to do it, and then we are going to style that so Wait, it looks like buttons. You keep bullets in the house? How have I not found them? I do not keep bullets in the house. Uh, do you remember our lessons where we made lists and? Yes, I 
know how to make a list. Some and had numbers. I'm not in my like tenth grade. Some of them had numbers, and some of them had bullets, which was little dots next to each one. What the bullets on? Okay, so make a new tag using your square bananas. Square banana, square banana, Oops. square banana. Just box. one. Actually, that looks really pretty. It looked cool. Can you type you? Whoa, that looks so uh, good. Mina. It looks Can't. like a Christmas hat. Uh, yeah, or a friendship bracelet, maybe. Can I'd love to have a bracelet like that. Can you type U L? You are a loser. <laughs> <laughs> that was so mean. Can you type? You your... told me. Well, I was telling you what it meant. You equals loser. But do you want to? Do you really want to call your you audience? You equal loser. No, I. You are. You are luscious. All right. Can you? Well, then it would have been tiny. You are tiny Tim's. I am. Oh, there we go. All right. We do love our tiny, tiny Tim's. Can you type tiny the other Tim, square banana? Tiny Tim wants a banana shaped like a square, not a regular okay. banana. There we go. That tells our browser, expect a bulleted list. Each item in our list is called a list item. So hey, can you... Just wondering, mm -hmm. before did we write nav? We didn't. We never made a nav before, so this is a, a new experience for us. Can you make one more square banana? Oh, just don't do that. Sorry. Oh, you want to look at I your want site map? To remind myself. Mm -hmm. That is a good plan. Okay. I'm just open. Okay. Um. So we're gonna do home and. I was trying to shrink you so I could keep it on the page. Oh, okay. That's a good point. I want to shrink it so I can keep it on the page. Okay. Here. Now can you move it to the corner? Yeah. Woo! Hey, now I can't see it. Well, you can. Okay. Okay. Home. So our first link is going to be called home. So <gasps> can home. you make an L-I tag? Hey, couldn't I do bio? Well, the first, the, uh? It's bio slash home. You could call the first page bio if you want. Um, bio slash home. Well, all right. So you got to, either way, you got to start with an LI tag. That's short for list item. Uh-oh, tags no, need what? No, it's short for leeches. Okay, leeches. But either way, tags need what? Square then bananas. Go, boom. Mm -hmm. Then you go boom. Oops. Okay. Wait, and no, it stands for luscious a leech. E leeches. Lush, luscious le leeches. Okay. Luscious leeches. Okay. So That's you want to call your first link home? You want to call your first link bio? Home. Slash. Bye. Oh. Okay. Great. And we are going to make another LI for your next link. This is going to take forever. Nope, we only have three more to go. It's going to be 83 the time That's when we finish this. So website. true. Well, we have three more links to go and then we're done for the day. But so. you mean it'll be 83 by then? Okay, don't type. Okay. Don't type both bananas. It's better to type the first banana, then type LI. And then type the second banana. Oh, no. Can you get okay. This? Can you type the second banana? And the reason why you want to type it in that order: the first square banana, um, then the li, then the closed square banana. Oops, I forgot it now. <laughs> is because then it gave us the closing tag. Remember, slash li is where that list item ends. Okay. Can you? Okay, two more to go. Two more? I used three. Can, I you, already did it. can you do a square banana? I know this is so much work. Okay. Uh, what is this one? Learn more? No. Or is this the facts and uh, fact and fiction one? Fact. <laughs> <laughs> Farts and fiction. That would be a website about. That would be a website about Benjamin Franklin, not Marie Antoinette. Wow. 
or or tis it <laughs> or tis it Fiction. Fiction. Yeah, good spelling. Fiction's fiction's not an easy word to spell. Yes, it really is, Father. Okay. Well, get uh, your fact. Head in, get or, your head in the HTML. Fact or tis it fiction? All right. One last it list is, item to go. Dada, it's not called that. It's called fact or tis it fiction. I love it. Uh, one last list uh, item. Can you make one more square banana? Square banana. Banana okay, and what is this? Learn more? Learn more. Okay. Police. Police. Yes, learn more, please. All right, great. This is a really good navigation. Can you save your page? You can just do Command S Come if you want. Come here! Oh. Try that again. What? Okay. What, did, what just happened? I have no idea. Command yeah. S. Oh, command. Okay. And. What was that? Hey, stop it, Siri! I didn't get that. Oh, Siri. Oh my gosh, if you do command S space. Siri, Siri is always in our business. All right, so. Stomping. This is the... Okay. Stomping. Okay. Nina. What's Nanos? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll discuss that after. So, all right, we have our folder. We have an HTML page. Wait, is that nachos that are full of men? Is that uh, disgusting? I have no idea. All right, so we are going to open our page in a web browser. And here we go. There's the start of our navigation. We haven't... That is such a boring color. Why does it look like paper? Because we haven't done any of our what? Where do you do the colors and fonts and all that? CSS. I need to do that fast. Uh, well, we're actually out of time. So what? That was thirty whole minutes. That was thirty though. whole minutes. Okay. Well, can I change the background because uh, I can't not wait. Nope. Next time you'll have something I'm to look forward to. Wait. You won't be able to sleep for a whole month. When can I change my background? All right. <laughs> You did awesome today. Any any uh, farewell words for our audience? I'm way beautifuler than you. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Okay, come on, mouse. Okay, come on, mouse. Come on, mouse. Okay, okay. All right. Thanks for joining uh, us. Da, 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 no, 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 oh, switch to outro. Wait, I am way beautiful than you. Guys.